Stronger storms, higher floodwaters, farmlands now barren. All of this, says the UN Secretary General, is the result of a warming planet. And warm, Antonio Guterres says, isn't always good. Areas where drought once struck every decade are now seeing cycles of five or even two years between droughts. And moreover, dry spells are lasting longer from California to the Sahel. Australian climate researchers say average world temperatures could increase by more than 1.5 degrees Celsius in less than a decade. 1.5 degrees is the temperature rise limit built into the Paris Agreement, an accord meant to slow global warming by getting countries to restrict or cut their greenhouse gas emissions. The Trump administration has said it considers the Paris deal a direct threat to its plans to increase U.S. manufacturing, and as a result, it could back out of the accord as early as this week. I think they are working towards having an answer for that, and so we'll wait and see what that answer is. Since emissions targets are voluntary, the U.S. could simply miss its own target, but it could also withdraw completely from the Paris Agreement in the next few years. Guterres told an audience he's still trying to persuade Washington to stay engaged. We are the, doing our best in dialogue with the administration and Congress uh, to make the U.S. understand that uh, funding development aid, funding uh, foreign policy in general, funding organizations like the U.N. is also in the interest of the American people. Guterres says he will convene in 2019 what he's calling a special climate summit to make certain that countries that have ratified the agreement are keeping their promises. Of course, the big challenge for Guterres will be making certain that the U.S. doesn't break its commitment. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.